Richard Cobden was born June 3, 1804 in Sussex, England. The son of a poor farmer, he grew up in abject poverty and received little formal education. In 1828, Cobden and two other young men started a company selling calico prints in London. The business was an immediate success, and within a few years, Cobden was living an affluent life in Manchester. In 1833, the newly prosperous Cobden began traveling the world. He visited much of Europe, the United States, and the Middle East. While on his travels in 1835, Cobden wrote an influential pamphlet titled England, Ireland, and America. In the pamphlet, he advocated for a new approach to foreign policy based on free trade, peace, and non-interventionism. Cobden returned to England in 1839 to advocate for the repeal of tariffs on food and grain that kept prices artificially high to benefit domestic producers of agricultural products. Cobden argued that these corn laws raised food prices for the British public and hampered non-agricultural sectors of the economy. In 1841, Cobden became a member of the British Parliament. Public support for Cobden and his Anti-Corn Law League grew, and the Corn Laws were repealed in 1846. In 1859, Cobden met the French Emperor Napoleon III to discuss the benefits of free trade. A year later, Cobden convinced the Emperor to accept an Anglo-French free trade deal, the first of its kind. The Anglo-French Treaty and the repeal of the Corn Laws shifted the British Empire toward free trade. The new policies alleviated the hunger and suffering of millions of people and set a precedent for more free trade treaties to follow. Cobden's efforts laid the foundation for modern trade agreements that continue to shape and enrich the world today. It is for these reasons that Richard Cobden is undeniably a hero of progress.